Hi everyone, exam day has arrived. You will know the drill by now. Paige is gonna sit some exams. I feel underprepared, but there's nothing new there. I've never felt overprepared for exams. I'm sitting two actuarial exams. They are the final two actuarial exams, the final two hurdles of the actuarial steeplechase. I'm so close to the end of the race now. I've cleared 11. It's just these final two to clear. Problem is, they're very big hurdles. These are hard specialist general insurance exams. They're only sat by actuaries working in general insurance and I don't know how they're gonna go. My first one is at 10 o'clock this morning, which is fast approaching. It's three hours, 20 minutes, SP8, which is the pricing exam, general insurance pricing principles. Basically looking into the ins and outs of how premium is derived for all the different types of general insurance policies you might get, how reinsurance premium or commission is calculated, how do companies make sure they're writing profitable business, what sort of low they put in their premium what policyholder characteristics do we look at that are predictive of future claims I've actually never worked in pricing I've mainly worked in reserving which concerns business that's already been written so this is all about the new business insurance companies are writing anyway I'm gonna start getting myself in the zone desk setup so I can just dive into it as soon as the exam starts as usual, I have made a please no deliveries exams in progress sign because the delivery people love knocking on my door while I'm working normally and they look straight through my door, see me at my desk and think, oh great, let's talk to her, let's deliver her something, she can take stuff for the neighbours. Not this morning, not this morning, I'm sorry. So this is going up on my door. I'm not expecting any deliveries, but you never know. What next? Let's get the desk sorted. The desk is kind of messy still from the last minute revision. I'm a crammer. We all know I'm a crammer. I was cramming last night and a little bit this morning. And now I've done what I can, you know, I need to just get the reference materials I want out, get the computers loaded up. Oh my gosh, if you saw my last vlog, we had a complete saga with the laptop, but we are here, we've got the setup we need. And the neighbors next door have paused their kitchen renovation work this morning and tomorrow morning, hallelujah. Basically, they started drilling really loudly into the wall a couple of weeks ago. Was quite concerned, but it's fine they've paused their work. It is nine minutes until the exam starts. So what I wanna do is get the online exams platform open, discard everything that I don't actually want on my desk. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Just gonna give it a best shot. I need water, I need water. Mom, my mom has messaged me good luck. <laughs> Quick exam selfie. I'm such a content creator. Why am I taking photos <laughs> in the four minutes before my exam starts? I'm gonna go because I need to just get myself in the zone. I'll speak to you guys afterwards. I just would really like this to go well. transition to after exam <laughs> hi um i'm done i've just submitted three hours 20 minutes later how do i feel i don't know i'm sweating <laughs> the stress of it all <sighs> do i feel that great about it not really like i feel past papers went a lot better than that did there's a lot of questions where i feel i was just making stuff up and talking out of my ass and i'm worried the examiners are not going to accept what i've put down the calculation questions just upset me normally i can count on calculation questions but these ones i'm not confident that i got either of them correct both of them on exposure curves which i was literally looking through this morning so you'd think i'd be ready but it's just the terminology when they say limit is that the width of the layer or the upper limit I'm not sure. Deductible, how am I allowing for that? Honestly, I don't even know what I was saying for half of this exam. But I did answer every question, I hope. I think I answered every question. It was a rush at the end. I had 10 minutes left. I hadn't even attempted one question yet. I was typing as fast as I could and just literally brain dumping everything I could on the page. I always start thinking I'm gonna do minutes per mark and really time myself and be strict. And then I see the first question and I panic and I start jumping around between questions and 
yeah anyway i need to wee i do need to go to the loo i was thinking that towards the end of the exam but there was no way i was leaving my desk and i'm rewarding myself with a coffee and some vanilla buns this is my stash of vanilla buns, which my mum delivered to me last week. She baked them for me as study fuel. So thank you to my mother. Very, very tasty. I've shared the recipe before on my Instagram, I think. So head over there if you want it. It's all my story highlights. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna relax for a bit, but unfortunately the next exam is tomorrow. Back to back days, two exams. And ideally I'd like to pass both exams. I don't know what's happened with the one today, but I can't do any more about the one today. So I just need to focus on the next one. Everything is still to play for with essay three, which is my specialist applied exam. I'm gonna have my coffee and then chat to you guys about it later. Just taking myself out for a little walk so I can get some fresh air before I dive into studying for the next exam. It's a really weird feeling of not being able to do any more now about SP8. I feel quite unsatisfied about it, like I wish there was something I could do to increase my chances, but what's done is done. I've passed or failed, it is decided. The examiners don't know yet, but within my paper there is baked a pass or a fail. Just grabbed myself a pink study beverage and we are back at the desk and feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of the stuff I need to know. Here we are. Essay three is the third and final general insurance specialist exam. There's normally less questions in a paper, like it wouldn't be unusual for it to be only three questions in the whole paper, but then they're sometimes arranged into lots of sub questions, which are all about the same scenario or setup. They could ask me to calculate things and do some maths. They could ask me to write a lot of stuff. They could ask me about pricing, capital modeling, reserving, accounting. They could ask me about regulation. They could ask me about self-driving cars. They could ask me about climate change and climate related risks. They could ask me about geopolitical risk. They could ask me about insure tech. They could ask me about parametric insurance. They could ask me about cyber risk. They could ask me about AI and the risks involved with that or how we might use that to enhance insurance. They could literally ask me about anything. Also inflation, maybe they'll ask me about inflation. I don't know. And I'm really not sure how best to use my time for the rest of today. The more I think about this morning's exam, the more I'm convincing myself in my head that I've failed because I don't think I wrote enough words. I only wrote 4,000 words. And when I passed SP7, which is the reserving equivalent paper last sitting, I wrote 4,900 words. So I'm significantly below that. But then there were more calculation questions in the exam I sat this morning, so that's going to affect it a little bit. But then I've also realized I've definitely done one of the calculation questions wrong. Like I know exactly what I did wrong and what I should have done. Naturally, it came to me after the exam is finished. So, dunno. But as I said, putting it behind me, it's done. It is so miserable out there, that rain, and it affects my mood so much. I know some people say they find the like sound of rain really calming and feeling like cozy indoors and it's raining outside. I don't have that. Rain literally gives me anxiety. It puts me on edge. We had thunder this morning and I was thinking this is not the relaxing vibe I need for sitting an exam. Good evening. It is dark outside. We are still studying. 
I feel like I am thoroughly underprepared for this exam and I've got no one to blame but myself. Keeping it real on here because a lot of people always send me messages like, I don't know how you have your work ethic. I really want to be as motivated as you to study all the time. You're such a model student. I get a lot of these messages and I feel a bit like a fraud because I procrastinate just like everyone else. I am not a model student. I try my best but I also struggle with motivation and definitely as these actuarial exams have gone on over the years my motivation has been going down and down and down and I'm not making excuses for myself because I signed myself up for exams for this long you know but just being realistic I am not studying as hard now as I studied back when I started as a student actuary in September 2020. And I guess I just should have done more past papers. Let's just say I did more preparation for my SPA exam that I sat today than for this SA3 exam. This has fallen by the wayside a little bit. But the thing that prompted me to start vlogging was me being silly and looking at the pass rates. Probably shouldn't do this the night before an exam because of course it's going to psych me out. But look at this. So this is data from the last eight sittings of SA3. Pass marks seems to be sitting around 65 most of the time but if you look at the percentage of students passing each sitting it's so low. 24% in April 2022 which is shocking and even last sitting at 31% is quite low. The pass rates do vary by subject. For the exam I sat this morning, SP8, and for the exams I've sat last sitting, the pass rate was around 40% on average. Whereas for this one, we're looking at an average pass rate of 33% over the last eight sittings. And what makes it worse is that this is normally the last exam that student actually sit. And normally by the time you're sitting this exam, you've passed all of the core exams and some of the specialist exams. So all of the student actuaries who have got to this point, who are sitting this SA3 exam, are pretty bright students. They're pretty good at sitting exams. They've got good exam technique by now. And so the competition to be in that top 33% is really, really tough. I saw someone online today call it the actuarial hunger games and I get it, you know? And the day is here. Today I am attempting the final, the last actuarial exam there is. After today, I will have attempted all there is out there to master in the world of IFOA exams. There's this shred of hope in me that's like, oh, this could be my final exam ever, but it's quite a small shred of hope. I have to say, I do feel better right now than I did around lunchtime yesterday. I was feeling quite overwhelmed lunchtime yesterday, thinking I have not prepared for this enough. There is so much they could ask about. There are so many hot topics in the industry right now. Whereas I spent yesterday kind of late afternoon and evening looking over notes, consolidating notes from all of my GI specialist subjects, reading a few presentations and papers online, looking over my tutorial slides, I looked at a few examiner's reports, looked at a few accounts calculations, and I feel like I'm in a much better place now having done that. So cramming for the win. We love the book cramming. My mum has messaged me saying, hope you're awake. Yep. Yeah, I am, but it's always good to check. I do get paranoid on exam days that I will sleep through my alarm, so I set more alarms than usual. <laughs> Feel like Sharpay and Ryan. <laughs> Ma, have we got this? Yeah. Feel a bit sick, to be quite honest with you. Feel a bit sick. Got my accounts example, cat model strengths and weaknesses, idea generation. I've got idea generation at the top. Combined material packs open for all three specialist exams. Tutorial notes open for all three specialist exams. Close emails so no one disturbs me. Platform, online exams platform. Okay, I've got my slides open if I want them. Here is the exams platform in all its glory. 
essay three, 16th of April at 9.30. One minute to go. See you on the other side. We're done, we're done, and I feel quite happy to be finished. I kept looking at the clock through that exam thinking, oh my God, I just want this exam to be done already, <laughs> which is probably not the right attitude to have, but I think it went okay. 4,559 words, woo! Not that word count means anything, to be honest, like it really, really doesn't. And there will be people who wrote far more words than that in their exam. But there was a lot of book work, to be honest with you. So I think having good summary notes definitely helped with locating the parts of the course that I needed. So that was good. But there was also questions where I've got no idea if I was answering them the way they expected me to answer them. They'd give me this random statement by a politician on capital models. And then they were like, comment on the politician's statement. What do you mean comment? Comment on what? I could comment on a lot of things, but I don't know what angle you're wanting me to go at. I'm worried I didn't get technical enough. I just started discussing politics and <laughs> whether or not the politician should be speaking out about it. I don't know. I timed it really well though. I'm really pleased with my timing. At the start of the exam, I wrote down list of questions, how many marks they were worth and roughly how much time I wanted to spend on each one. And I did the paper back to front. So I started with question four, then went question three, question two, question one. We're gonna do the exams of the dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've got space to breathe again and actually do stuff like tidy my bedroom, which is a mess as usual. Go to the shops and finally buy some more loo roll because I'm running dangerously low. And you know what? I'm finding it really hard to judge how exams went. I'm glad I finished on the one today rather than the one yesterday because today's did feel better than yesterday's. We will have to wait until July to find out the outcome of this exam season. This wait now until July is going to be the most suspenseful, excruciating wait because there's a lot riding on this results day. If I pass both exams, I'm qualified. I have reached my goal. I have finished the race if I pass both of these exams. But as I have said a lot of times in this video, it's it's far from guaranteed. Gonna keep this vlog short and sweet and sign off here. So thank you very much for watching. Give the video a like and subscribe and follow my other socials, which I've linked in the description. Thanks for watching. See you later. And hope all your exams have gone well too, if you're sitting exams. Bye.